you have to market yourself. You have to, even if like, you just got to make yourself seem like you're the best person in the world, even if you're not. And they will be like intrigued about you. Like I go to my interviews and I'm like, okay, I'm Sarah. I am like a world record holder. I am an Olympian. I am this and this and this. And like, you have to own it because if you don't have the confidence, then you're, you're kind of not going to like succeed in that way because you have to believe in yourself and you have to be put on a brave face and you have to like push forward. So for me, my first like professional job in my field was at Journey Mental Health um, as a crisis worker. And that was probably one of like the hardest jobs I've ever had. So during my interview, I was asked a lot of like hard questions, but one thing about like being in a pandemic, like I was, I had to do it over Zoom, so that was great. So like they send me the questions beforehand. So I kind of like rehearsed and practiced and like talked to my roommates and like did like a mock interview, which really, really helped. Yeah, I agree with being able to market yourself and how important that is. I think another skill that really helped me land my first like gig was networking too, like just messaging recruiters online or just like kind of building your small group people that are able to like speak to your professional ability or just, you know, you as a person in general. Um, and I guess like, I don't really know if I have like a field because I've been jumping like all over the place. Um, but I guess like my first like real gig in my mind was being a quick start for like one of Tanya's courses. Um, quick start, which is like a pre-professional course, basically like the same kind of deal as this. Um, and then that kind of led into me getting a marketing internship with LabCorp, which is like formerly known as Cobans, if anyone's familiar with that name. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest things that helped me land that were really networking for sure. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing that like, I think how I got the things that I did even as a freshman was like talking to the people that um, were like leaders, mentors, like in Tanya's case, like the program, like coordinator for Quick Start. Um, and I mean, I guess maybe Tanya, you can speak to more like what you noticed like about the three of us that like made you like give us those like jobs. But I think um, like putting in like, your best effort always like will get noticed I think is like what I've learned like from my experiences and like the people who are in those positions of authority that would be looking to hire you like notice when you put in that effort is I think what I would say like in general um I think on like a practical level like the first step is like knowing what kind of job that you want because then it'll be easier to like apply for it and be genuine with like your interests, which I think is also felt like by people who are hiring for those positions. Um, I used like the UW job boards and like the career services to find positions. UW is really good at um, like giving you, getting you those resources and like you're the one that has to like learn how to navigate them, but like the positions are out there and like they're posted. Um, as far as like, if we're talking about like in my field so I ended up working as a like starting last summer I worked for a professor in the BSc department um and the way I got that job was through a student org because he was the advisor for the student org um and he mentioned in passing that he was like hiring for his lab and I inquired about it and he was like oh well like, I know you through ASABE I know that you're a good like you're hardworking and you're good like would be a good fit for this um, so I guess like to speak to that networking piece, like I got those jobs through the people that I knew that could like attest to the fact that I would be like a good fit for it. <laughs> 